All right, check this solution out. And if you think you know how it works, let me know in the comments. So this slide is a little bit different than your average slide because it goes from down to up. Watch the bead. Here's how it actually works. Welcome to the video. What's up guys, welcome back. I've never done this type of video yet. Just to let you guys know, I have some extremely big projects coming up soon, including probably the biggest and most epic puzzle I've ever solved on this channel. And in preparation for that, you know, we're doing a whole lot of work behind the scenes and that might be why you're not seeing so much content these days. But I still wanted to make a video today and a lot of you have been tagging me, especially on my Instagram, on these antique puzzle desks that have gone absolutely viral on the internet. So I thought today would be a good time to check some of these out in preparation for some of the bigger projects on their way. I wanna let you know I do appreciate you and thank you guys for hanging out here and you know watching my videos and all that stuff. And right before we get into the video, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Vera. Vero is a social media platform that doesn't have an algorithm, meaning there's no one mining your sense of information and turning it in to money. Vero is the number one place for the photography community. I personally don't feel like a lot of the photos get the love that they deserve on different social media apps. By using hashtags and even the featured page on Vero, you're able to find and discover new photographers who share the same passion you do. Now you don't need to be a professional photographer to enjoy this app, although it is a great place to start your journey in photography. If you're just looking for a neat place to eat or possibly a new travel location, they've also got you covered. And one more thing. So I've been using Vero for well over a year now. Um, I post behind the scenes pictures. I post book reviews, movie reviews, some experimental photography. It's just honestly a place I don't go to mindlessly scroll and it feels really good to deliberately use a platform like this rather than feel like you're being forced into it. It's the most honest version of a social media app that I've come across and I wouldn't accept a brand deal from a company that I didn't believe in. And so don't take my word for it. Click the link in my description to see my profile on Vero and have a look for yourself. I do want you guys to check it out, but also let me know what you think of it. If you've already joined the app, please in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts are. And thanks again to Vero for sponsoring this video. Let's dive into it. So here's one of the first ones. This is the Röntgen's or Röntgen's Berlin Secretary Cabinet. Check this thing out. I mean, that is pretty epic. Wow, look at that. The fact that they had like these spring-loaded compartments back then is pretty epic. You would think, I don't know what I would think, but I would think back then, you know, everything was, like you had to pull or push something out, but uh, oh, wow. Makes you wonder what these things were actually used for by these people. Like, were they just, were they just fans of puzzles like I am and just, you know, spent their money frivolously on useless objects? <laughs> or did they actually have a use for all this? Look at that. That is crazy. Insane, and it keeps going. Look at that. I wonder what someone would use this for. Would they, you know, would they invite people over and be like, hey, check this out. Or, hey, you want a drink? Like, I have a hard time realizing what the purpose of these are, but as a puzzle collector myself, I kind of get it. You know, Craig Thibodeau, a uh, master furniture craftsman and now puzzle maker who's made the most beautiful puzzles I own, including uh, the box with my logo on it and the Holy Grail puzzle, this one here. He 
he also worked on this giant desk, this pirate desk puzzle, which he just revealed a few pictures of recently, but he hasn't really shown the solve because the client hasn't solved it yet. He wants to wait until the client obviously solves it because this thing, I would guess, is at like high six figures in terms of price. But you know, his designs are a modern version of these. The pirate puzzle and the holy grail, like those have clear goals and the goal is to like extract the, the grail or you know, to, to solve the mystery behind the puzzle. Uh, whereas these seem to be more just cool little secret keepsakes. I guess it was just to kind of flex on your friends back then. Well, it's like a little theater display. What a cool key. Look at all those, look at all those parts pulleys and levers and everything's mechanical. So beautiful. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Look at that. The wow factor there is absolutely insane. All right. So check this desk out. First we have here is you press a button and the writing slope comes out. So if you want to be able to write on something. All right. For writing. Fair enough. Read, you had an extra slope. Then on the sides, you press one of the buttons and a secret drawer comes out. You press another button on the inside and secret drawers come out on the What end. is this you man hiding? On the side, the lion head wow. come out. On the other side of the desk, which we've just turned around, what we have here is Socrates. Socrates. And then you press a button further here and two more drawers come out. Another drawer at the top. Press a button, more drawers. That is insane. And then you press another button and another one. Every desk needs a centerpiece. And here's the centerpiece for this one, where you open it up, the drawers come out. Of course, these are secret. That lock. Wow. And then even the center drawer comes out, which is secret. On the top of it is an eagle, which is a symbol of the Roman Empire. So that, I mean, screams national treasure. If you guys have seen, by the way, we need a third national treasure. The first two were probably some of my favorite movies in the entire world. I don't even care how you guys feel about it. Uh, every time I watch those movies, I'm just completely enthralled about the chasing the secret history of these, you know, uh, secret societies and, and governments and everything else. And in this just, you know, especially when it's owned by like a king or like a head of state, you know, it leads you to believe that they were holding and hiding secrets. And uh, I just wonder, you know, I'd like to speculate what it is exactly they're hiding in these drawers and, and compartments. Let me know what you think these people were hiding. Starting with the one in the center, you press the hidden button here to reveal. Oh, it's the portion. same one. Made to hide all sorts of that little is so cool. jewelry pieces or important information. You have this is actually a better look. drawers here. And when you press down in the center, you have one in there. Then we move to the actual drawer here. When you pull it out and press the hidden mechanism in here, you have your writing area. If you follow me to this side here, in this one, you would enter the key, rotate it here to reveal a little bust of Socrates. And then this is also filled with a lot of like, what is compartments. That? Starting from the top here, you have one. Two, you remove this. It is kind of mind blowing to me that they're allowed here. to play with this in this way. And then underneath. I feel like the mechanics will get worn out over time and each side of the lion might be discouraged from playing with it too often. And then when everything is back in place, you can use a rob like this to reveal. That is crazy. Hidden storage. Here's another one I've been sent probably a hundred times. So this particular one is an antique safe made in France around 1780 to 1810 with three keys and a combination of ordered switches. The amount of times this person has opened this thing, you know. <laughs> so it's sequential. I wonder if any of the other knobs turn as a sort of red herring. Wow, so many steps. And look at that key. He's got to turn it twice.
That is incredible. Wow. Look at the inside of that door. I bet if you were able to get a glimpse of the inside of that door and the working mechanics, it would kind of look like a Dwemer box from Skyrim or perhaps like a... Do you remember in Harry Potter when they went to one of the secret vaults in the bank in Gringotts? We got a behind the scenes look of how these doors function as soon as he unlocked the key and you had all these gears and cogs turn and, and move around for the key for the door to unlock. I feel like that's what this might be like on the inside. Just very, very cool. So many questions about this. Like how does one come into possession of this, A? B, how does one know how to open it? Was there someone like me in charge of figuring out the solution to this puzzle when they received it? Or did it come with instructions? Or were the instructions passed down by the owner? And what was inside? So many questions. I, for one, volunteer for that job. If ever there's an antique dealer out there looking for someone to solve their furniture puzzles, I will happily throw my hat in the ring. This is another one of those type of safes. Here we go. This one looks a little more elegant, probably a little more modern as well. I would say just because of the craftsmanship of it looks a little, unless this was like incredibly preserved, but this. So many keys. What were they hiding? <laughs> wow. Look at that door. There is someone in the puzzle space who makes similar puzzles, and we'll show you that in a second. Modern versions of these antique safes. I've been wanting to have, you know, one for my own collection for the longest time. Uh, unfortunately, he's very busy, and uh, they're also extremely expensive. You know, we're talking, you know, close to six figures, potentially. All right, so key. That seems pretty standard to me. This, Italian safe, okay. So I guess the Italians and the French both had an affinity for secret compartments. So this key has to be, wow, so that key had to be put in. Oh, there's three locks there. He's gonna show how they work. So as you rotate the key and then pull it out a bit and then rotate it again, Oh, you're able to play with the locks at different levels. Very interesting. You could be stuck there for quite some time trying to figure out how that door actually opens. Again, probably someone who had to figure this out at one point. This is a lock from Amsterdam. Okay, so it turns and then he turns it back. Little arrow dials which have to be done in a specific order, I'm guessing. Are they sequential or can be done individually? It doesn't matter. And then opens once again. And on the inside, you've got another strong box. Look at that door. That is just a work of art. It would be hard for me to have something like that and not want to show the inside of it constantly. Like that, that would be open if I were to own something like that. So this box here is made by Seth Gould. I've been following this gentleman's work for quite some time. He makes the most intricate, beautifully designed, handcrafted metal puzzle safes. And they are akin to the type that we've been seeing. However, with modern, with a modern twist and obviously I think less deviation being that we have modern tools, you know, and CNC and everything else to, uh, to accomplish this. I I've been dreaming of getting this box. I believe he put it up in a museum at one point. Uh, this thing probably sell sold for upwards of 50,000 plus dollars. Uh, you know, when you think of a master metal worker working on this for over a year, a price tag like that is actually pretty reasonable. Otherwise, how else would you earn a living making something like this? So let's have a look at this right now. All right, here we go. Check this out. Wow. You see how it just drops down like that? Isn't that cool? Click, clack, boom, that pops up. Secret compartment, secret button, secret drawer. Look at the key. Look how beautifully presented the second key is. Oh, nice little secret button. Allows you to push the second key in. Whoa. An absolute 
work of beauty, Coffer by Seth Gould. Two years. As someone who enjoys puzzle solving, this is a coffer, so it's made to like, you know, have something valuable put on the inside. But personally, I love, I love an extra compartment. If I were to have something like that commissioned, I would have that done. And then on the inside, something very simple, like sliding the bottom to reveal like a false bottom and having an extra key there, which opens like another compartment. I don't know. I'm just a big fan of the puzzle never ending, I guess you could say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's video. I do appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. This is a little bit new. Usually we react to magic over here and reacting to puzzle boxes, I think was kind of fun, uh, but let me know your thoughts. Also, if you guys want to check out my website, first.shop, we got some merch, we got some playing cards, we got all sorts of cool stuff, and our escape game is currently still 50% off where you get a free deck of cards uh, printed by the USPCC as well as an entire escape game on a web app, and it's a whole lot of fun. So I know a lot of you guys have been picking that up, so thank you. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.